what is up bros this is Brunati back with the hearts of iron for star wars mod so i know you've been wondering why it's taken so long for the next episode well i've got a really good excuse um the mod was updated and it wrecked my save so i had to basically start new and try to get back to where we were when we left off of course i'm not going to be able to get it exactly like it was but I'll try to get it as close as I possibly can. So before we get started, I wanted to show you the two really big things that were updated in this mod. The first one is the tech tree. As you can tell, this is much bigger, this first branch. There's a ton of new stuff before you can actually get your executor off the ground and remove your debuffs. Um, most of these are the same. I think there's like, there's like one or two new things. But the main thing is this. A branch for land equipment and a branch for air equipment. Also, a new Empire tab completely redone. New blasters. Uh, these are all new for the Empire branch. Uh, mobile artillery. Speeders. Different types of walkers. Mobile uh, anti-tank, you got armored transports, you got assault tanks, you have your heavy uh, equipment that leads to the big ass ATM-6, uh, mobile uh, anti-air transports, fighters, bombers, interceptors, and this badass Thai BA Red Boy. Alright bro, so this is what we ended up with. Almost the same, but not quite. So, compared to last video, I lost this, but I did gain this. So, I guess it's about even. What is totally different, though, is the factions. I don't know if what happened in the last playthrough would ever happen again with the UK joining the Axis and the US and Mexico forming their own little faction. So, this is what we're looking like now. You got the Axis. Common turn, Greater East Asian Code Prosperity Sphere, and the Allies. So I had just taken out Guanji, and uh, right when they were about to fall, they joined the Common Turn. So now I'm at war with the Common Turn. I'm going to try to get as much territory as I can, because I would like to get the Caucasus to set up my attack on the Axis. So with that, let's go ahead and get this started up. I had just put these troops there too. They just came from Guanji, so they have no... Yeah, they don't even have preparation bonus. I just want to get to work, though. All right, there we go. We are ready. Throw down them dubs. I don't know how the UK got here. Because, okay, I should tell you this. The factions against each other. Axis, of course, is against the allies and the common turn. The common turn is against everybody. Uh, the Greater East Asian Coke Prosperity Sphere is against the Allies and the Common Turn. And I'm just against the Common Turn. Let's go ahead and get a Star Dreadnought Executor, which we had had before getting rid of the last of the debuffs. The com <laughs> Poor Common Turn, man. What did they do to deserve this? The Axis from the West, Japan from the East, the Allies from within, and the Imperial Army to the south. Who could win against this? There's, look at this. There's hardly any troops through here. We are just gobbling up land unopposed. Alright, I asked Germany for some military access. They gave it. Sir? I want to bring Vader up here and start getting to work. Look at this Blitzkrieg we got going on through here. Amazing! Puts the Germans' Blitzkrieg to shame. And the Germans are nearing Kazan, which I bet will make the Soviet Union capitulate. Yes, indeed, they're at 98%. Boom! There it is, bros. So after the peace conference, we ended up with that, of course. We got up into here some, got a few resources, and of course, I grabbed this. Look at the Imperial Command. And we're still at war with Mongolia, so let's go ahead and pick that up. 
So it looks like I'm the only one at war here besides bros, besides. Republic of Kenya going at what is left of the common turn pretty damn hard. Boom, there you have it. Mongolia has capitulated. All right, the dumbass Reich just puppeted Mongolia. Idiots. I will take pleasure in your demise. So I think up next I am going to attack what is left of the allies in the Middle East and then go ahead and invade the Kingdom of Egypt. Boom! We got the Star Dreadnought Executor. Nice. Okay, I think I got everybody involved. So while we're waiting on that, I'll grab elite units, uh, make my stormtroopers more badass, make me be able to have more of them. And let's go to work. Vader should make short work. Well, actually, there's there doesn't appear to be any troops there. Oh, there is. There is at least a few troops in through there. Uh, they got five. They got five to go up against Vader's 501st Legion. Ha! And there they go. Vader, go for it. And Egypt has no troops on the border. We're going to be a little bit late there, bros. The Sinai is already going to be in the Empire's hands by the time you get to Cairo. Vader's blasting right on through to Cairo. Forget the plans that was laid out. You don't care. He's doing his own plans. Oh, the fall of London. How are you going to let Germany land like that? That never works for me when I try to land in one spot. I always got to land up here, maybe in through here, maybe here, maybe down here. So I've been working on these lately, but I think since it's 1942, we're going to have to pick up blaster cooling too. And we've been here, bros. Remember, we already had this. Developments in blaster technologies reduce the power required to fire a blaster, therefore reducing the heat output. The combined forces of Egypt and the British. Actually, what happened to the British? Where'd the British go? They ran like cowards. They seen the Empire coming. Field Marshal got force choked by Vader and um, yeah, they all ran. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Recruitable population of 5% manpower, 70,000 Arabian coast manpower. 350,000. Gimme. Oh, look at this. Broadcasting imperial propaganda across all forms of wireless media across the globe will surely draw in recruits from the furthest reaches of this planet. Setting up recruitment centers in operational base Besh will allow us to use our secret secret police to filter out candidates who are deemed undesirables yeah this is gonna wrap up soon bros all we gotta do is take Alexandria Alexandria is under siege and it looks like it's about to fall especially if I do an all all in order everybody in here it comes, bros. The fall of Alexandria. Boom! Kingdom of Egypt goes down. And the UK is done. Put a fork in him. The 74Z is the speeder used by the reconnaissance troopers of the rest of the Empire for good reason, as it is the fastest speeder available while still being safe to pilot for our pilots. It also comes equipped with adequate firepower to harass light enemy formations and fortifications while allowing for our own troopers to return safely with any intelligence that they may have gathered while on mission. Perfect. So next up, Mobile Imperial Army. 100% research bonus. Lightwalkers have served the Imperial Army well, moving with infantry advances 
to provide additional firepower and support as well as covering fire so our men can move on to the enemy position while they are taking it cover. Next up, we're going to grab a stick with what works. Utilizing older designs, we can begin a production of walkers sooner rather than later, still allowing us to provide our troops with armored support, albeit not the walkers our troops are accustomed to. So right now, the Imperial Army is just chilling, rebuilding, re-equipping, waiting for that day. Oh, what is this? Ching China joined the Axis? Hold on. Oh, what? This is huge. The Axis and the Greater East Asian Coke Prosperity Sphere are going at it. Well, I guess forget about refitting and building up an army. We're going to have to go with what we've got. So now we can grab walkers in every battalion, which I am needing. Making sure every trooper deployment also has a walker support will ensure that we have adequate support as our enemies cannot hope to withstand our combined arms when deployed in numbers. A single walker is not a threat, but a squadron is unstoppable. All right, bros, it's time to go ahead and attack Japan. War has been declared. Uh, where are all the Japanese troops? I mean, Siam's putting up more of a fight. Reinstate heavier models. Using heavier walkers alongside our troops on foot will allow for our army to slowly but surely roll over our enemies, laying waste to any obstacle in their path. Our superior firepower will annihilate our enemy. Look at Japan finally brought in some troops. You're a little late, bros. Siam and Japan is completely collapsing. They're just about done here as well. Yes, sir. Siam has just capitulated. Noise. But Japan fights on for them. Next up, a war doctrine refinement. Planning our assaults. In greater detail, will allow our tank crews to take greater advantage of their armor and speed by detailing missions behind enemy lines to cut off and surround pockets of men, allowing our regular forces to move in and wipe them out. Look at this Imperial Army just crushing the Japanese troops. I think next up, I'm going to grab this technologies for our subjects. Allow them to start um, researching Imperial technologies. Maybe they'll help out a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and ask old Ching and uh, Pu Yi for some military access. Going to help them out a little. Get some more war score. We got technology for our subjects. I think I'm going to head back here and grab training camps. I think we had already done this. In the other playthrough, setting up local training camps across our territories will eliminate the need to travel to our capital for training. Up next, Storm Trooper Corps. Expanding the core is necessary development to safeguard the future of the Empire on this planet. We must improve the quality of our training as well so we do not fall into the trap of sacrificing quality for quantity. Let's take a look at the war here we got going on. Um, Germany has lost a million. 41% war participation though. We've got 18, lost 380. So I'm quickly finding out that I don't have the resources to keep multiple different templates going. So I'm gonna have to make some hard decisions here. So what I think I'm going to do, keep the walkers. Get rid of the mobile artillery, the anti-tank, and keep the two quick movers for infantry. Oh, we're just about done. Singapore is about to fall. Got the Stormtrooper Corps. Grand Army. Military factories, building slots. Hold on, what is that? Our new army will appear across our owned territories. Damn, 140 days, it must be good. And the Battle of Singapore rages on. 
We did it, bros. Singapore has finally been captured. You know what? I think I'm done helping out with Korea. I need to refit my infantry for the massive war with the axes coming up. I need a crap ton of surplus when I get started, so I'm calling an end to this. All right, we've got our grand army. And is this the troops they were... No? Hold on a sec. Yeah, we just got a bunch of troops that just popped up everywhere. Noise. Yes, sir. We'll just sit back, let the axis weaken itself in the Korean meat grinder while we build up our army. I think it's time we start focusing on our aircraft here. Repairing and creating new starfighters will be vital as possessing air superiority in the surrounding area will assume a safety our fighters outmatch anything on this planet handily however we must recover our data on a variety of models in order to keep this advantage seven days so after that we'll just go ahead and grab the bomber models bombers are a particular important tool we must utilize as our enemies have no chance of gaining air superiority over us as it stands if we focus on bomber effort, we can destroy any land opposition we come across with ease. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a basic rolls. By simply using our bombers in a single roll bombing, we can focus on increasing their destructive capacity. Previously, bombers have been outfitted with a variety of laser, weaponry, turrets, and other various additions. Bombers have one job, dropping ordnance on the enemy. And this is what we must focus on. Here is what we've been needing again, bros. And I'm going to go ahead and do it early since it's not that bad. And we had had this in the last playthrough before the update. The Imperial Anti-Tank Support. Remember, look at this increase. Absolutely amazing. Who needs walkers when you got piercing and heart attack like that? While the Empire rebuilds their army. For the Great War with the Axis, we're flying through these. Blanket the skies. Our starfighters are unique in their design compared to the inhabitants of this world, making an iconic impression on those that see them. If we produce them in large quantities, our already iconic starfighters will strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. They will fear the howl of our ion engines. The ultimate fighter. Focusing our efforts on a craft capable of outperforming any of its counterparts while doing the job of all of them sounds like a ludicrous opportunity, one which we should seize on. There has been a craft in the works of the Imperial Air Corps for a long time, which we may complete, allowing us an incredible boon to our wings. All right, bros, the time has come. The Empire has spent years constructing an army to move against the Axis, which is going to cause all hell to break loose. That's going to put all four major factions in like a fatal four-way. Everybody going at everybody. Axis, Allies, Imperial Command, Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. It is going to be a true world war. So this is my plans. Basically, I'm just going to hold the line pretty much through here. And the only reason I'm advancing here is to make the front smaller so I can pull an army off of here and send it to Europe. Um, I'm going to move up in through here because I want the resources in the Urals. And then we've got a Caucasus army. And then we've got three army groups in through here. Moving on, Bulgaria and what is left of Greece. I've made like the bestest of friends with Germany. So I'm hoping that I can attack a little bit. And they won't declare on me. Like I can attack Bulgaria and Greece and they'll just chill for a while. That's the hope anyways. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh shit! I have a whole extra army I didn't even know about. What are you guys doing there? They're just packed into here. Oh my god. Imagine just 
coming upon a whole extra army like, oh, what's what's going on? I don't even know where to use them. That's amazing. Um, you know what? I'll put them here to drive in on the Caucasus as well. Unless I need them in Europe and then I'll pull them off. I was worried, bros, about the Europe. But now I can relax. I got a whole extra army. So the ghost army that was unknown to the Empire has arrived. Planning bonus check. We are ready to invade Europe. Got two armies on the front, one in reserve. Um, and I guess we're ready. I'm just thinking Germany. We've been broing out. I've got access to their territory. They give me access. They're not going to declare on me right away. I refuse to believe that they're going to do that. All right, bros. Here goes nothing. Look, Germany hasn't declared because they don't want any of this smoke. They don't want these hands. We've all seen how well um, Imperial armor is. I mean, like, Ewoks couldn't take Imperial armor out with, say, you know, like, wooden um, staffs, mallets, wooden arrows with... Uh, Flint tips? Nah. Well, we are initially winning. I mean, there are Germans in there. But they have not yet declared. Still, the world is calm. Look at this. We are crushing these troops. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I need to call these bros in. So they can go here, Vader can go through here, and our other bros go through here. So far, so good, bros. Everything is going off better than I could have imagined. I guess one of the other big things I didn't mention was the 4 million manpower I got. We just gotta keep broing out with the Germans for a while. That's all we gotta do, keep them happy. Send them a hot tw um, Imperial Twitch thought every so often. Uh, oh, I can see all their troops now. Yeah, I like my chances in through here, actually. I mean, if they want to go, we can go. Yeah, Germany joined. Germany is in it. Um. Bros, we just had that deal. What happened? I thought we were cool. Got it. Okay, I've adjusted my front. Hopefully I won't lose any territory on the north here. The Caucasus, look at this, bros. We are storming through the Caucasus. Ha! You didn't want these hands. You didn't want this empire hands. Gaining here. Gaining here. Holy crap. Boom! Bulgaria has capitulated. So we're gaining here. These bros were static, it, remember? And um, so the Qing hasn't declared on me yet. But I kind of know their troop count here, and I like my chances. I want to see how this pops off right at first. All greens, I guarantee it. Uh, well, you know, maybe not all, gr mostly greens. Our production is still looking good. I just keep just moving these back and forth. Whoever needs the iron the most. I'm not really concerned with the uh, aircraft or my convoys, which is the only navy I have. There is not one place along this front. That we are not making headway, besides the place where I don't want to make headway. Everywhere else, headway is being making. Make, make, making. Making? Making. Boom! The new Mongolian Empire has capitulated. Noice! I wasn't even driving that hard on there. Boom! National Union of Greece has now capitulated. Just watching my air power turn green as I call in my... Oh, these are supposed to... 
these bros are supposed to be heading here. There we go. I've got to be honest, I'm kind of a little bit shocked at how good it's going through here. I thought this was going to be hell. I haven't even lost any uh, units. The Caucasus is going well. This is going well. i got to keep an eye on this, though. So I built up a little bit of backup here. I'm going to have to call them in to help out here. I don't think there's a... there's The front's too wide to do much, I think. See, yeah, every... Every territory has one on it. Okay, backup's heading in there. We'll see if that helps out. I'm gonna need another army in here. It's spreading out. I'm gonna start... I'm gonna have to start forming up a new army for this. We're gonna get spread too thin here pretty soon. Okay, I've just noticed something. They have hardly no troops here. And their supplies... Looks like it's crap. I think I'm gonna go in. Alright, there you go, bros. Enjoy. I mean, the only thing... I'm The only reason we could possibly be winning right now is superior empire technologies. I'm going with the blaster rifle. That upgrade was badass. To, to like, give infantry... Basically the power of a light tank amazing and the Italians haven't even dared come at us down here I got level 10 forts on all the territory through here. I even put some up here because I was worried about that If you're wondering about my templates, I've made some pretty generic ones just because I don't have iron and uh, the blaster rifle so good that I just made Like this is a pretty decent one but, um, this, frontline infantry. Just basically infantry with a little bit of light support. And then my coastal defense is just infantry. Hey, look at this. Got it. Lo How you feel about losing your territory? Well, you think maybe I sh Hold on a sec. You know we had these, uh... We had excess troops right here. Let's put these together and... Let's wreck some Italians in Africa. Make them feel right at home. Our templates for the war going on here in the Balkans is amazing. Look at this. Holy crap, look at this. Look how much territory we've taken through here. Oh, we started pushing in on the Qing too. Okay, well, we got another army built up, again, with the crap frontline infantry. But it's going to do wonders. It's been working. Because of what? The upgraded blaster technologies. I'll move it up to Istanbul. Throw it with these bros. Give it a commander. All right, we're going to let these guys lose. The Italians abandoned the front, it looks like. Classic Italians, they ran. This is like when the British all over again. I might as well be the British. And the Italians are running for their very lives. I think I already took like a hundred thousand POWs. Look at this. We wrecked the Italians. Actually surround those bros. Surround the Italians at Tolbrook. Oh, you escaped! Not so quick. Look, he's getting the hell out. He's running. Oh, Tolbrook has been encircled. Rip. No landings. We have pushed the Ching back. We are holding here. Because there's quite a few troops in there. Advancing through here. Even got some troops surrounded. And we are good through here as well. We have reached the point of our initial plans. Nice. And backup has finally started to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and go for the first order F-11D blaster rifle. Advanced Imperial Issue Blaster developed for the Stormtroopers Corps. Upgraded variant of the standard equipment. I need it. 
The Balkans campaign is just a meat grinder back and forth. Hot, oh my god. Look at some of these troop numbers. 90, 50, 80. I don't even know how... Well, I was going to say I don't know how my bros are holding up, but I do know. Superior blaster technologies. We just keep wrecking the Italians. In fact, they left the French to try to defend. They got wrecked so bad that they were just like, Hey, France, can you come help? That's when you know you have taken an ass beating. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I just noticed something. We might have a problem here. Uh, the backup that was heading here is going to have to handle the Italians. Oh, looks like the Balkans opened up some. Nice. We are driving in on the Qing. The Caucasus is still making headway. We have made it through the mountains, which is good. Once again, we have driven the Italians position back in North Africa. It's getting a little bit too wide now for my liking. I might just take this and uh, chill. They are actually starting to come back through here. Uh, of course, these are the crapper troops given to me by my puppets. And of course, they blow. We are still hanging on in production. Getting a little low on the AT-ATs though. And the Balkans meat grinder is continuing to grind meat. I have no idea how many troops they have. Well, they're at least... They probably got 300 down here. There's a... Well, I can see 200. Yeah, it's probably even more. It's probably a little more like 400. The only thing holding it back... Superior Empire Blaster Technologies. Well, I told you guys that I was going to get this up today. And if I'm going to get this up today, I'm going to have to wrap this up soon. I don't know how many years we have been at war. But this, this is all we've taken through the Balkans. Amazing. Let's see. You know what? We're still doing... Look at this. 4,200 battles with a 94% win ratio. Statistics. Okay, let's look at the individual wars. So we got the Imperial Italian War. 9 million. 9 million? That can't be right. I mean, although they probably lost that in the Balkans. Imperial American War, we really haven't done much with that. And we've got the Imperial Japanese War, which we also haven't really done that much with. We have lost a lot of territory through here. We were, this is basically where we were. I don't know what happened, but I wasn't paying attention. You know why these guys are losing, right? Besides just being puppets. They don't have superior blaster technologies. We're trying to get an army built up. We got 12 now. 12 strong of actually... Of actual good troops to head up here and try to... Stop this hemorrhage. Well, it looks like we finally got it stabilized. We haven't lost any land lately. Uh, we just busted through here. And it doesn't look like they have any troops on the south. But I don't have any army to go in there. Um... I could pull these bros off. The anti-landing duty. I mean, hey, you want to win a war, you got to take risks. I'm trying to win a war here. You know, before long, I'm going to have to call another army into here. Something happened here in the south, and it just opened up. Okay, let me go ahead and take all this, and then we've got to wrap this up if I'm going to get this video out today. All right, bros, it is time to wrap this up. North Africa. We wrecked the Italians all the way damn near to Tunis. Uh, they never even dared attack us down here. We finally broke through in the Balkans. I better do something about that, though. 
And, uh, yeah, we still gotta clear some Spanish troops out here. Stop some more landings. As soon as I move those troops, they tried to land again. Had to break a division in half. We have completely wrecked the Caucasus. These bros have still stalled, but we're gaining ground here again once I actually moved in a decent army with Imperial troops in it. We have held this front, and we have pretty much wrecked the Qing. Or Rose, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace, Bruminati, out.